Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Almighty Zentaco, and this is gonna be a super short one. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a better jump through platform. Now, I already made a tutorial that shows you how to do a, a jump through platform, and I'll go ahead and link that now, up at the top right. But there is a problem with that tutorial, and that is what this tutorial is going to address. And the issue was that uh, you can get on top of a jump through platform, but if you ever touch another one, you'll fall through all of them. And that's an issue, especially if you're using jump through platforms as movable, rideable platforms. Um, you frequently will come into contact with another one, and if you overlap it, you're just going to fall to your death. It's a bad design. Now, fortunately, this is a real easy fix, so I will show you how to first make a jump through platform, and then I will show you how to make the better one. It's really simple. So, we're going to use the um, platform movement object. If you don't know how to make a... I'm not going to show you how to make a platformer. I've done that in a previous tutorial. Um, so it's actually my biggest tutorial, but if you don't know how to do that, please watch my platformer tuto tutorial first. That'll get you uh, up to speed, and then you can add your jump through platforms. Alright, so this is what it looks like now. We can move around and jump with space, and this is going to be our jump through platform. All it is is an active object, but right now it doesn't do anything. So this is a simple fix. Let's go ahead and copy and paste our comment. And just so we know what we're doing in the code, and we'll say jump through platform. <clears throat> so to do a jump through platform, it's super simple if you're using the platform movement object. Just go ahead and click. We need to add a new event. Go to the platform movement object. Do collision testing. Test for jump through platform overlap. Then add another condition. Find out if your player is overlapping another object, and then select your jump through platform. Now, if you're gonna have lots of them, I recommend you make them into a group of objects and then check collisions with that group. That way you'll always you'll just do this once and you know you can make a hundred different interesting jump through platforms. But I just have the one, so I'm gonna put this here now. Now, all we do to make sure this executes is go to the platform movement object line here, right click, and select collision object does overlap with a jump through platform. Now let's test it and see what happens. So it works, we get on top. And as you can see, we can move through it. That's what a jump through platform is, if you're not aware. It's a platform that you only really collide with the top of it, uh, so you can move past through it as if it were not an obstacle on any direction, but if you are falling, you will land on top of it. Now if we go ahead and copy this platform and drop it on top, let me uh, line it up just right you will see that it is not something that we can any longer jump through. We just fall right through the thing. So that is a problem. Uh, and that can be easily fixed. That's something you're going to want to frequently do, and you know, all kinds of games use it, just such as like uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers from the NES, that they had a lot of jump through platforms. Also, it's a very common occurrence that if you're on a jump through platform and it's moving, you're likely to run into another one and you would just fall through. Bad business. So, very easy fix though. We just go to the line with the jump through platform code, which is line 11. Insert. All we want to do is find out if the platform is below the feet of our player. To do this, we select the platform. We check its Y coordinate. So, go to position, compare Y position to a value. We want to find out if its Y position is greater than go to the player and select position. We want to find out if his Y coordinate is greater than the uh, Y coordinate of bottom edge of our player. That's the essentially the feet of the player and so we're doing greater because the Y axis is sort of inverse. Down is positive, up is negative. A little counterintuitive for some people but that is the way it works. So uh, greater will be beneath. So compare, make sure that the uh, coordinate is greater than the Y bottom of the player. That's all you got to do. Now we should see that this now works and we can jump on top of these. Easy peasy. That's all we had to do. So I know this is a super short one guys, but that's because this is really just an addendum to a previous tutorial. Uh, so I hope you found it educational and useful as always. Uh, also, you know, I recommend if you, uh, you look in the description of my tutorial here, I have a link from a Discord channel, fantastic place to go if you need help. Um, I'm there a lot, so and so are a lot of other people who are willing to, uh, to help you out. So check it out, guys. All right, as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.
Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta delete this. 